Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, a technical evangelist at Microsoft in the UK. In this screencast, I want to show you File Table, which is a new feature in SQL Server project name Denali. File Table is a way of storing large files on disk so that they can still be accessed from any application that could see them through the operating system, but they're still under the control of SQL Server. And this builds on the file stream feature released in SQL Server 2008. What I want to do first is to show you how to set this up. I've got SQL Server Denali already running on this virtual machine and if I open Configuration Manager you can see the services here. This is the database engine and what I'm going to do now is look at its properties. If I go to File Stream here you can see that we can enable file stream for Transact SQL access, and that's pretty much what we had in SQL Server 2008. New for Denali is to enable file stream for file IO access and to give it a share name, and also to allow clients to connect to this remotely. So I hit OK here, and that's set. The next step in the process is to configure the instance, the database, and then create a table that can store the information. So this is my Windows 7 client with SQL Server Management Studio installed. I've connected to Denali 1, and if I go into its properties now, and advanced, you can see that file stream access level is set to disabled. Here we do full access enabled. You can see the share name there. Hit OK and then restart the service if you want to do that programmatically here's the script to do it SB configure file stream access level 2 and then reconfigure override to get that to take effect so now we've configured the instance next step is to configure a database so actually what I'm going to do is create a database and here's one I've got already prepared so I've got a database called Denali file table with a file group on it set for file stream this line here so my file groups called file stream FG it's going to contain file stream the logical name is file stream file group and that's the name of the directory that we use but this is the new stuff down here with file stream non transacted access and we're giving it a directory name called file table which lives under the share if I execute that that's successful. Just refresh my databases over here. And there's Denali file table. The final step is to create a table that's going to store our files. Now this is where things are again different from what we had with FileStream, if you're familiar with it. We essentially create a table. In this case I've called it my dex as file table. And notice I'm not giving any columns here. Because a file table file is fixed. All I need to do is declare a directory and tell it what collation name to use for the file name. And I'm done. As simple as that. And if I go into my database now and refresh that, you can see we've got this new subtree, file tables, and there is my decks. And you can see that the column names are all there. We just haven't had to declare them. And you can see there's all sorts of interesting things in here that look very much like the kind of things that you would store against an object if it was in the file system. So that's created it. In part two, we're going to look at using it. 